Le Let's do it. How does it sound right now? Okay. In the last year, I've reviewed many gaming mice over here on YouTube and on TikTok. We've reviewed the Logic G Pro, the Ponage Sim 2, the Ambi, and the Aerox 3, which up to this point, for the most part, I've loved all of these. But today, we're going to be adding a new mouse to the collection. It's a mouse that I've been looking forward to review for a long time. This is the HyperX Pulse Fire Haste Wireless. So the HyperX Pulse Fire Haste came out, I think, five to four months ago. Came out in 2022. They've had, obviously, the wired version for a long time, but they just come out with the wireless uh, version. And I'm really excited to stoke this. For the most part, I couldn't even find this mouse in stock, which is surprising. But about a week ago, I was able to get this mouse from Amazon for $69, which is below MSRP. Usually it sells around uh, $80. This mouse is like super, super widely known and it's popular. I think a lot of people like it. I've never tried a wireless mouse from HyperX or for the matter of fact, never even a mouse from HyperX. So I'm super, super excited to check out this mouse. Obviously, uh, it's gonna be hard because right now I'm using the Punch Sim 2 and I love this mouse. This is like one of my favorite mice I've ever used right here. Um, I just like the way it looks, I like the way it feels, I love the grips that I have on it, and I just, the sensor on this thing is phenomenal. So, let's see if the HyperX Pulse Fire Haste will be taking the crown for the next gaming mouse for giving chills. Uh, this mouse is the lightest mouse of all the mice I have. It's 62 grams, which is super, super light. I will be interested to see if I will notice any difference in weight. Lasts up to 100 hours of battery life, which seems a little bit low because some of these mice are rated 200 hours, like the Aerox 3 from SteelSeries. The battery life to me is not really Really very important because you know you can just charge it in the, the day it's not a big deal the sensor in this thing is the pixart 335 sensor uh, i think this is just a hyper x sensor nobody else is using the sensor as far as i know and it goes up to 16,000 dpi the one thing that i'm seeing on this box right here that i've noticed uh that i've never seen on other mice is two year warranty which is pretty darn good. Usually these mice is one year, like Logitech, one year warranty. Uh, and then it works with PC, PS5, Xbox Series X. Next, let's bring the camera up here and we'll do an unboxing from up top. Got a new tripod, gotta show it off. All right, let's unbox this bad boy and see what's in there. In the box, you get the mouse, obviously. Pretty nice box overall. Uh, usually mice are just like in a plastic box. This comes with a cover. Uh, and you get the dongle, obviously. Something that stands out right off the bat is that you have the logo ingrained on the dongles. You're not gonna lose the dongle, which is super, super nice. Back to here, first touch with the HyperX. Uh, holy crap, this feels nice. Wow. In the mouse itself, you actually get a spot for the dongle, which is a W. Uh, I love that when mice include these things, you know, you don't have to lose the dongle every time you're trying to move or you're not using the mice or something. Uh, on the bottom right here, you get actually the power button and the sensor and a bunch of crap. Uh, the feet overall so far look okay, not great. There's four feet, two at the top, two at the bottom. Pretty decent size compared to like the Logitech G Pro Wireless. Uh, but I wish they had like a middle uh, feet right here too. That would be nice. That would have made a difference on like, you know, just more glide. Um, overall looks and build quality looks really, really good. I love the honeycomb uh, shape, uh, you know, holes in here. I think that's always a nice touch for any mouse to reduce weight and make it look good as well. Uh, let me grip it. Uh, holding it feels really, really good. Uh, it's a good size. It's a little bit on the bigger size compared to like the Sim 2. It just seems a little bit bigger compared to the Logitech G Pro Wireless. I want to say kind of the same size as the G Pro Wireless to be exact. Uh, and shape wise, it seems like it's the same kind of like from the back right here if you take a look it kind of looks like the same uh you know bump right here not not that off maybe a little bit bigger on the back right here but yeah holding it feels really really nice at least for my hand that's a little bit in the bigger side like i said right here like the logic g pro wireless shape wise it's really good build quality zero creaking right now from the side i can't make it creak at all so which means this is you know it's gonna last you for a while this is good good stuff right here this is another w for hyper x having the dpi button be very very small right in the middle i personally love when companies do this i think it's super super cool that uh to have it a low button low profile button right in the middle instead of having a massive button like for example look at this look at the rocab button right rocab button is literally the biggest button you've ever seen in your life i don't think i've ever unboxed a mouse that has peel plastics on the side buttons and on the dpi button that's a interesting interesting thing to have obviously there is no buttons on this side so if you're left-handed i'm very sorry it's not like the logitech g pro wireless right you don't get side buttons but overall build quality it's looking really really good i love how it looks it's very simple design obviously you can buy it black and white i think those are the only two colors available little logo right here on the side kind of nice you know in the box you also get the braided cable which is super super nice usb-c connection uh you get usb 
PCA to your PC to USB that comes to this dongle thing. This is basically an extension for uh, the dongle. So instead of having to put the dongle in the back of your PC, if you want better connection, you can put the dongle right here and have it closer to you. Obviously you can use the PC, but it's recommended to use these dongles that come with mice for better connectivity. It comes with grips, people. This is what the mouse industry is missing. Send us some extra grips with your mice to make it even better. Nice high quality grips from HyperX, Hexagon, pretty nice shape to them overall. And I think they give you extra feet. Oh my goodness, for $60? Uh, grips for the side, the clicks, and for the actual feet. That is phenomenal, extra feet. Everything so far from the unboxing about this mouse is premium. Uh, let's test the glide real quick and test the clicks and see how they sound. Oh wow, this oh wow, these are nice clicks, man. They feel very, very similar to the Logitech G Pro Wireless. They even sound the same. Here is a quick sound test. This is the HyperX. This is the Logitech G Pro. A little bit on the louder side, but feels very similar. Side buttons. Side buttons a little bit more loud. Uh, feels nice though. It has a really good uh, sense to it. It feels very, very hefty as they say and DPI button. And oh my gosh, the middle button click is phenomenal. Listen to this. It's like a muted button click that is just, I don't know. I really like it. Let's do a little bit of uh, some glides and see how it goes. Oh wow, okay. Yeah, this is pretty, pretty good. Not gonna lie, some of the best so far that I've tested other than Logic G Pro. Uh, yeah, this is premium, man. Wow. Down, really good. Uh, big, big fan so far. Let's plug this mouse into my PC, play a couple of games and see how it performs. Uh, the big thing that I'm actually excited for to test for this mouse is how good is the connectivity on these things? I've had some issues with other mice like the Rocket Burst Pro or the Steel Series Aerox 3, but I'm hoping that the connectivity on this mouse is really good because if it is, this will hands down will become my main mouse as of right now. So let's do that. All right, guys, we got the mouse plugged in. The first thing we had to do actually is update the mouse, which is, you know, it's very common, but this is the software that you can control everything with. This is the HyperX Ingenuity. Uh, I think this is uh, this what controls all HyperX products. There's a light sync. This, this mouse has one RGB spot, which is just the wheel but it's a very common thing to have a very minimal RGB in a mice when it's really light so 62 grams it makes sense why they don't have any once you get mouse updated you can click on this mouse to click on it it's pretty nice it shows you know a visualization of the mouse itself uh, it tells you the you know likes you can link or unlink the mouse if you want to manage I don't want to manage itself I okay so this is if you want to if you want to change the lights for uh, the mouse by itself you have to unlink it from the synced views or whatever for me I usually just like uh, I don't really, really care for cycling should dye it in effect and do solid color and add that. And we'll do uh, white. How can I change it? Oh, so now, save to mouse. All right, so now my mouse is white and uh, it's super easy to change the colors. Under the buttons, you get in the settings right here, you can reassign buttons. So if you want to reassign some of these buttons to have the back or left or whatever you want to do them, you can do that too. Uh, in the sensor section, uh, this is a pretty interesting thing. So it gives you color coordination based off of whatever DPI you're on. You can change the color to uh, tell you, okay, on red, you're going to get 400. On blue, you're getting 800, 1632. As we mentioned, it can get up to 16,000, which is pretty, pretty nice. Uh, I'm not going to lie. On the top right here, you can get, you can see the battery percentage. So right now my battery is at 72. You can change the brightness of the color. So if you want more battery life, you can turn down the brightness. I don't really care for RGB on my mouse, honestly. And then options, uh, the pulling rate up to 1000, which is, you know, very common. And then lift off distance, you can change it between two millimeters and one millimeter. That option right there is really nice. Uh, this is actually pretty nice. You can save your presets. So if you have different settings for your modes, for your mouse, you can save a preset on the app and then switch back and forth. All right, guys, we got a, we got a team death match on Valorant right here. We're gonna be testing this mouse. So far, the sensor is really good. It's, it's very, very, very zero delay. I can't feel any delay at all, which is phenomenal. Oh, crap. I'm really bad at the game. That's not gonna di di dictate how, how... I guess that's not bad. So I'm playing at 14... Uh... I'm playing at 14 uh, DPI, 1400, which seems like a lot, uh, but I just, how, that's how I play my FPS. You can judge me, you know, you can make fun of me. I play at that high DPI, but yeah, so far this is phenomenal, honestly, like zero delay and uh, clicks feel really, 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 really sharp. Uh, feels uh, as good or not better than my G Pro. 
uh, and the shape is really comfy regardless of how the size is a little bit bigger size you know kind of the same size as g pro uh still feels really comfortable i'm just used to that shape and i think like if if you're looking for a new gaming mouse this for the price right now it's 65 dollars on hyperx's website or i don't even know what it's on amazon but i'll leave a link down below to it if you guys want to check it out uh, but regardless of the point right now if you need if you need an upgrade to your gaming mouse i highly recommend this guy right here it feels really really good and uh so far zero delays uh zero issues i'm encountering the buttons feel really really good the clicks feel uh and sound really sharp all right guys it's been an hour since i filmed that last footage right there when i was playing valorant and uh honestly can't find one thing that i don't like about this mouse i think this mouse is madly underrated for the price that it comes at right if you can find it for 60 dollars, this is one of the best wireless mice that I've tested and I've tested about 10 at this point. I mean, obviously I'm not a pro, I'm no pro, but for so far for the specs, for the build, for the feel, for the feel of the clicks, uh, for the functionality, the weight and all of that combined for $60, I can't, I don't know if any other mouse out there that is better than this. If you guys know of any other mice that you would like me to check out, please drop them down below in the comments. I go look, check it out. Maybe I'll buy them, do a review about them. But either way, HyperX did not send me this mouse. I bought this mouse with my own money because I've always been interested in seeing what's the hype is all around the HyperX. Um, okay, that was supposed to sound way cooler than I actually did. But yeah, this was it for the HyperX Pulsefire Haste Wireless Edition. Uh, big, big fan. Massive, massive W for HyperX. This is a great mouse. And right now, actually, it's on sale for $65. I'll leave the link down below in the description if you guys want to check it out or buy one for yourself. But this was it. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.